Good morning, fans of Private Deer Effects. Coming at you, uh, 08 October. Vice President debate last night. Don't care. Uh, most of the research that I got says Pence won. I don't really think it matters. Certainly FX doesn't care. Um, done really nothing. You know, real, real quiet the last sort of 20 hours, including uh, FOMC minutes. Mildly risk on elsewhere. Uh, and certainly the change in trend dollar buy that a lot of people were screaming about when the stimulus got taken off the table um, is not in play. No evidence of that. Everything's kind of middle of the range here. Euro at 70, cable at 36. Dollar Swiss, nobody cares. Dollar Yen's hanging out near the top side, but we're not really trading that until we get more vol. Uh, Euro Yen, again, middle of nowhere. You see all of these charts are very low vol, very low energy, not doing much. We feathered into shorts yesterday. Uh, Aussie, no love, right? Euro Aussie. This looks like it may uh, shock some people on the downside before we start heading heading back north. Excuse me, yawning. Um, Aussie N. Probably grinds higher. Swiss yen, nobody cares. Kiwi yen. Doesn't look like a day to trade, right? Gold, not doing anything. 1890. Apples at 115, which is neutral, mildly bullish. Equities are bullish, right? I mean, we're now 90 handles from the 3330 lows. Pretty straight line there. Are we going to get above 34.21? Surely. Uh, is it going to run? I doubt it. Uh, but triple top up here. <clears throat> we should, there will be stops above this sort of 20. Let's see this high here was 24 and a quarter. This high here is 19. This high here is 21.75. Yesterday, 16 three quarters. Today, 21 and a half. Should clear above this, but there's plenty of resistance above, plenty of reasons to sell. Um, you know, you kind of have to. Um, we remember 34.84, right? You kind of have to now just sit here and be patient and headline watch a little bit, see how this news is digested, um, and just continue to be patient. The one chart that I think is worth trading is non-FX, non-stocks, is bonds. This is the 10-year dancing down here at this uh, 138.23. And then here's the long bond, big red day yesterday. We didn't get paid yesterday, so we weren't short. It was pretty annoying. Um, we left some offers up at 07. Like a lot of participants, we were a little bit surprised that things went just straight risk on from the get-go. Um, so... We thought we might get paid up at 175.07. We did not. So the tactical book is square. The trend book is short. But the tactical book is really what this call is all about. Where do you sell today? We're probably going to hit a bit here at 25. And then we'll probably leave an offer at sort of 05 and maybe another offer at 11. Um, we think this is going to tip. And stocks look pretty robust. You got to watch headlines uh, for risk management purposes. Obviously, if uh, you know Trump's health deteriorates, or if there's some more 
stimulus scrambling um, this could create some vol but both of these charts look like they are going to fall off a cliff cliff jumping at Fort Weatherall who remembers those heady days by the way for those of you who want to jump off the face uh, we mentioned it on Twitter it's 85 feet into the Atlantic scare the living Christ out of you anyway that's really all I got oh that's like a crude same thing as same thing as ES you know just kind of middle of nowhere mildly bid focus is really just on fixed income we have absolutely zero ideas in FX zero ideas in ES um, and we're just being patient waiting to see for stuff to develop <clears throat> Won't waste your time with any more babble. Um, hopefully we get a better, uh, more active market tomorrow. Good luck trading today, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.